Welcome to Bowling for Carp 13. This is Hook, Line and Sinker and I'm Joan Tosh and you join me on the banks of the Bulk Syndicate and it's been a long time coming in this session because it's been probably about three months since I've even set foot down here and that's because I've had a few things going on. Obviously I've been I've been on my holiday and when I've done that caravan carping video and uh, last week I went off to Angel Lakes, did a couple of films filming there for uh, that lake and uh, I wanted some time out from the day tickets and bowling for carp is back on. Um, now it's probably been at least a year since I bagged Rubik's round about this time and I'm not too sure whether any of the A team come out. I've not seen any catch reports, but they are well and truly due. Now, when I seen that the uh, the winds was uh, westerly, the conditions are nearly identical to when I picked up Rubik's. I just had to cook, book a couple of days off work, and um, it's Wednesday, and I'm on for a 48-hour session, and. Uh, I can't wait to be fair I've already put my rods out as you've seen and uh, I've gone out three rods you know the score we've done it all before three rods out on a tightly baited area with a bouncer rod just off it now it's took me a couple of goes just to get these rods out on the marks uh, but I do believe the extra time that I've spent doing that will pay a bit later on into the session we all know that we get bites during the night here so if I can get all these rods set up before um, the night comes or first morning then if I get a fish in the night then I can keep the other two rods fishing uh, we have, we've got a little bit of cloud cover so it's not likely that I'm going to see my marks out on the uh, opposite bank I'm using the trees as a little bit of a marker and uh, if we have got a bit of cloud cover, I'm not going to be able to see over onto that bank. So if I, if I get a tag on one of my rods, I can leave that rod out, knowing that the other two are fishing for me, and uh, hopefully I can get a tag on either rod later on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to settle into the session. I've got the uh, brew in full flow. And once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon and uh, you'll find the button let's try it it's usually in this corner uh, because it does play me up it'll end up in that corner so I'm gonna say it is in one of the corners uh, so hit that button and subscribe it really does uh, it really is appreciated so I'll uh, pick the camera up a little bit later the time is uh, cracking on and we'll start to lose the light pretty pretty soon so uh, I will catch on catch up with you a little bit later see you soon Well, you join me at half past six, and as you can see behind, we've got a lovely red sunset. And uh, what do they say? Red sky at night. Tosh is delight, so I'm hoping that a chunk will turn up. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the night ahead, I will tell you, because my body is not programmed to sit in the dark for hours. But I've got to do what I've got to do to try and catch one of these chunks. Uh, before I uh, stop my uh, night fishing around about November. Now, now if you're going to say, what's he talking about? Why is he stopping his carp fishing? Because I can't stand being in the dark for 14 hours. It is not me. My body's just not programmed to uh, be in the dark and I really don't enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy it, then I'm not enjoying my carp fishing and myself. 
usually sometime in November I switch to uh, day tickets only when I'm just doing days only and I target different venues so I probably won't be down here after uh, after this session but um, hopefully it'll be a good one indeed now I have seen a carp out there probably 30 yards which is probably about 60 yards off the spot but I'm hopeful that uh, fish aren't out in front of me there's certainly the coots are which keep diving on my spots and I'm hoping and praying that they don't pick me up before it goes dark and I'm going to stick a spot on top of them in a minute if I keep diving on the spot so I will pick the camera up as ever if I get a fish in the night I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just add a little bit of a liner or I'll uh, pick the camera up in the morning and uh, we will continue the session together um, look, temperature is dropping fast now it's just getting a little bit cold I don't know if you can see that uh, but uh, we are expecting uh, low single figures tonight as we uh, push through so I'm going to uh, get in the BV and zip up and uh, I will see you sometime later on hopefully with a chunk well there's another reason to come out guys we got moon phase with a great big full moon is it a coincidence that big fish come out on a full moon is it hell it's just too much to back it up to say that you know fish and big fish feed on a big full moon especially commons just going back to um, a few years ago it was the only day I, I stopped at home when I was at Acton and it had a full moon then on the night and three or four of the biggest fish in the lake come out all in one night all from different lakes as well so there is something in there regarding uh, full moon and big fish especially big commons let's hope Ernie or the uh, football common turns up tonight that would make my year right we've got one one of the Ed Matthew stockies. However, it's stripped out three of my rods. Don't know how he's done it. He must have done like a twist around them. And I've had to strip two of my rods. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend a couple of hours now putting them back out on the marks. So, au revoir little pain in the arse and I'm just gonna put it back there right bivy cam uh, you join me back at quarters to 12 and as you've probably seen previously I've just had a little tiny mirror probably about four or five pounds and unfortunately even though when I picked up into the fish I walked down to the right hand side of the swim it decided it wanted to kite right hard and decided it wanted to do a bit of hopscotch over me other rods so after a little bit of messing about I managed to get it in with a big massive ball of line round it which was from my middle rod uh, there was absolutely no way I was going to untangle all that so I had to uh, bite the line and hand reel in the middle rod. Um, unfortunately, when it was halfway in, it decided to get snagged up on the bottom and I've had to uh, snap the line and bring it in, unfortunately. It also took out my left hand rod as well. So everything's had to come back in. I've started where I... Uh, started from earlier and all the rods have gone back out after an hour and a half 
Uh, thankfully, we have got a little bit of moonlight out there, thanks to that full moon. So I can see where I can position in my rods and I can see where I'm casting to. So uh, I finally back in and uh, fishing. Uh, so got a little bit of bait out as well just to top the swim up. And that's where we are. So I'm going off back off to bed and uh, Hopefully it won't be too long before another rod rattles off. Hopefully with something a little bit bigger this time. And hopefully you don't want to uh, play it with the other lights. <laughs> but you know what? This is, uh, this is part of carp fishing. This is what makes it special. I know I could be stamping up and down on the banks. Absolutely upset. But uh, you've got to have a little bit of drama to keep this mind ticking, keep it active and keep it uh, wanting to carry on. And uh, that's just like football, isn't it? You know, when uh, you have like a bit of a penalty or a little bit of drama in football, it keeps that excitement going. So, uh, yeah, right, I'm off to dream about fishies and uh, for now. Right, second fish of the night, and probably about 16, 17 pounds. You've just seen this one, one town off. That's because that rod had been quiet. I've just got a couple of uh, telltale sign liners, so I've got the cameras rolling, and uh, lo and behold, it ripped off. Uh, lovely. You now I've got a soft spot for common, so uh, I'm well. Really chuffed about that. So, well, let's get it back. We've got two rods fishing on the spot, so hopefully, another rod will rip off shortly. <laughs> it's a chunk. How about that for a morning wake up call? It's just gone. A six and it's just ripped off in the uh, baited area. I don't know if you can actually appreciate how dark this fish is uh, because the sun's not up yet, uh, so you uh, can't really see. But let me tell you, it is stunning. Happy days, yes. Well, you join me back at half past 11, and as you would expect, at this time of day, all's quiet out in the swim, apart from the coots diving on me, and for the past hour and a half they've been out there, and they've picked up a couple of my rods. However, I'm not really too fussed about that at the moment. I would be a bit later on, on the evening, but at this time of the day, let them crack on, because I'm not going to get a bite. Uh, next half an hour, I'm going to be reeling in, and going to have my... Uh, daily walk round, see what's occurring on the lake and um, see if anything's doing. There's only me on at the moment so it is pretty quiet. Um, now just to note that I've had a few people message me uh, over the past couple of weeks asking about my uh, lucky charm on my pod. Now um, Neil Spooner has got a, 
uh, take the tea bag Teddy hanging off his pod. Tosh has got a big pair of glowing balls. Not only have I got a big pair of glowing balls, I've got a strobing pair of glowing balls, and I've also got a flashing pair of glowing balls. Uh, obviously, it'll depend on the mood and whether I'm catching or not, whether I uh, use the strobing or the flashing. Uh, but I've got a nice ambient light off the uh, glowing pair of balls, and uh, that's where I'm going to keep them. Now, if you're interested in getting a big pair of glowing balls hanging off your pod or your sticks, then I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and buy them off Amazon for £2.36 or something like that. They're cheap as chips and so they should be for a pair of balls. <laughs> so, uh, now we all know. And uh, if you want some, then drop over there. Um, so, I'm going to... Uh, Reel in shortly and uh, go for my walkabouts and I will pick the camera up a little bit later as I'm doing. Well the day's been and gone and the rods are out back out on the spots where I had them fish from last night and hopefully the same will happen again tonight so I am going to go and get my head down for a couple of hours now with the um, idea that you know they're going to get me up a little bit later so I'm going to try and uh, get my rest now rather than later on um, Things have changed a little bit just to make it a little bit more easier tonight to get the rods out so I can get out faster than fishing. I'm hoping to try and get a little bit of heat on the cards tonight and uh, see if I can get into a few fish if they do turn up in the area that is. Um, so the quicker I can get out on my marks the quick, the better. So I've just put some uh, of the corda marker elastic on my rods, I hope you can see it. That'll save me having to uh, wrap up tonight. I'll just be able to cast it out to the right of the swim and just mop, bring it down to the uh, rod tips where the mark should be. Clip up and then I can put it back out on the spots. Uh, it's just, just to make it just easier to be fair, you know. Uh, so that's where we are. So time to get some uh, shut eye and hopefully I'll uh, pick the camera up tonight with a chunk or two. Ta -da. Well, good morning. You join me at 6.30 in the morning and it's been a real quiet night until about 10 minutes ago when that uh, middle rod ripped off on the baited area. Uh, after a little short doggy battle, I have managed to land a nice scaly 20 pound plus mirror in the net. I've not made it. Uh, so I'll do that a little bit later, but I'll just uh, slip through the retainer for uh, half an hour until this uh, light comes up and the sun comes up and uh, we will do the graphs and the video then. Uh, as I said, it was quite a night, nothing's come to the other rods, it's just that one out of the blue. And uh, I have still got two rods on the spot, however, I did have a little bit um, of an occurrence on the right hand rod last night and uh, when I was playing that fish as well it managed to get underneath that rod so I'm hoping 
it hasn't dislodged it from the biked area too much. Um, so I'm going to leave this rod out for, for a while, give it an hour and then I'll put it back out on the spot. As I say we've got to about 11 where the bikes come here. So um, you know yeah, I've got plenty of time to get this rod out as and when I need to. Um, yeah, happy, busy, and uh, the kettle's going on now, and I'm going to have my first cuppa of the morning, celebrating this capture. Happy days. Right, I'll catch you a little bit later when we get this fish out. Well, this is the second fish in the morning. Um, I've done a bivy cam uh, just to say I had a nice mirror in the uh, retention thing. And as soon as I've done that, this saw the rod rattled off on the spot. So, uh, happy days. Just coming in at 20 pound exactly. Absolutely super. <laughs> Happy days, two twenties in the morning. But the other one is a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, but I'm well chuffed with it. Let's get it back and let's get this other sky one out. Well, October, my last trip again, and uh, once again. Like last year when I picked up Rubik's, I have managed to pick up an absolute stunning mirror. Uh, it's not one of the A team, but uh, it is definitely one of the lookers in here and one that I haven't had. So uh, I can't wait to get the pictures out and show you on camera. There's a guy uh, just fishing two swimmers down, so I've just asked him to come down and just assist and just make sure everything is in shot and uh, to do some of the camera work for me. But uh, happy days, happy days. Um, right, let's get her out and show you what this balsam wicket holds. Right, first fish this morning that we had, and what an absolute cracker! Uh, I think this is one of the uh, Ed Matthew stockies uh, coming in at twenty pound. We'll check that out. Happy days. ASM once again. I do seem to uh, pick out the bigger fish. Uh, 3.20s now on like, this session. Right, let's get it back. What a beautiful morning to be alive. Another stunning morning of the Ball Syndicate.
Well, you join me late morning, and as predicted, the later on you get throughout the day here, the less likely you are to get a pickup or put any fish on the mat. And um, I've just looked on my weather app, and there is a cold front coming in tonight, so it's not looking too favourable for the fishing conditions. Now, as we know, um, the next time I'm likely to get some action is tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'm going to uh, shoot off home, bring this video block to an end and uh, spend some time with the family. Now, um, I've got some plans uh, coming up and some waters that I'm going to be fishing on my day ticket diary. Uh, as I said, this will probably be my last trip down here uh, doing the video blogs. I might have the odd day, but uh, the video blogs will no stop until uh, next year. Uh, but however, I'm going to carry on doing the data diaries uh, throughout the winter. And next week or the week after, we are, I've got another trip booked down to Angel Lakes. That will be my last overnight trip and hopefully we'll get into a few of the stunners that are in there. Uh, I've got a little bit more insight to the lake this time, so um, hopefully I can uh, put a few more fish on the map this time. Um, so I'm going to get off home. It's just started to rain a little bit. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video vlog. I hope it comes out okay. I've not got too many uh, video fillers because I've uh, been too busy catching fish and uh, putting my rods out and being active on the bank so uh, the little bit of footage I have got is more to do with fish and uh, the capture of the fish. Uh, so for now uh, don't forget to join Chasing Chunks, drop over to the Facebook group and don't forget to subscribe and hit that button and uh, keep you up to date as and when I upload my carp videos. So for now, bish bash bosh, keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines, see you on my next video. Let's get all this packed away and let's get off that one. Thanks for watching.